So key is on. We have no nothing on here. Let's go ahead and turn it to the on position. I mean, typically you would have lights come on when you turn the key on. I have a good feeling the battery is dead on this. I already removed all the panels. I have done nothing mechanically. All right, so you have your positive terminal, which I don't know if you guys can see. It's usually a red wire coming off and a negative terminal, usually labeled. You'll see a positive symbol here. So let's go ahead and do that. Wow, it is a totally flat battery. Let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and throw a new battery in it. You know, typical, typical, uh, Red to black, don't want to do that, blow shit up. All right, so let's go ahead and set the charger. We are at 12 volt. Hopefully you guys can see that. If not, take my word for it, 12 volt. We are at standard lead acid battery. Uh, I think this is a smart charger. So let's go. Let's get that battery out of the way. Battery acid leaking all over, but that's cool. That's our cat. Look at her, that's a little cart kitty. Key on. Oh, look at that. Four ways, bitch. Look at that. Fucking hazards. And this is why I like to have the charger on. You can play around with stuff. Scooters normally have to hold the brake while you crank. You know, she sounded like she wanted to go. Let's go ahead, because uh, these are easy. Let's see if fuel's even getting to the carburetor. Here is a fuel filter, a very disgusting fuel filter. Yeah, it doesn't even look like there's fuel in it. Okay, so. Uh, what we can do, oh, this isn't good. Looks like we have a little vacuum leak here. Let's go ahead and plug that up and see if it makes a difference. If you see, there's a vacuum line that runs off of the intake manifold, and that will allow your vacuum operator pet cop to, to turn on. So what we do, let's, I don't, we have to figure out where this goes, so we'll just plug it for now. Oh, she's sounding a little more healthy. So let's go ahead and check for spark. Okay, so to check for spark, we're gonna do an easy easy thing. We are going to just pull the plug. Let's go ahead and pull the plug. And this is a good time to check for fuel. Uh, if it does have fuel, you can smell it or see a very rich plug. Oh yeah. This plug is fuel soaked. But let's check for spark anyway. Put the, that in there. That's what you'll do. Find a good grounding point. I usually use the actual valve cover. Here we go, that's good enough. So let's see if there's some spark. Oh yeah. Cool. So we have good spark, we have fuel. So uh, let's do a compression check. Oh shit, this thing's got an alarm. Okay, so let's throw this guy in. And it's got an O-ring on there, so it doesn't have to be super snug. You just snug the O-ring down. Hook this guy up. We're gonna crank it over for a while. I'm hoping to see at least 150 PSI, but bare minimum 100 PSI on a GY6. I and mean, what I'm seeing, I'm not liking. We've got a total of about 75 PSI. So now we gotta see why our compression's low. You could do a cylinder leak down test, but I don't have one of those right now. Uh, not with me. I could go to work and grab one. But I think just because it's a GY6, I think we should start where it's more common. Let's go ahead and check the valve lash. Now it's super common for GY6s to uh, have the exhaust valve tighten up, but we're gonna see. We don't wanna jump to conclusions because that will kind of screw up your diagging. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and remove the valve cover. And rip it, rip it on out. Tight fit, but hey, whatever. Oh yeah, I like it tight. Uh oh, I got a phone call, BRB. Okay, so I got the cover off. Here's what she looks like. Uh, the oil looks pretty gross. Uh, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and throw it on top dead center. There is a plastic thing here. A little plastic, I think 14 mil. With the spark plug out, it's really easy to do. Uh, I'm gonna remove the compression tester just so the air can escape. Only crank this clockwise to keep the timing chain pressure. 
there's it's gonna be very hard to see at this angle but i will attach a picture like maybe like right here or like up in the top right hand corner of what a gy6 cam at top big center should look like and i think that's pretty close so we have our intake valve up here which i can feel some slop that's pretty good that's pretty good and our bottom one Oh, dude, I can't, I can't even move the bottom one. What I like to do is I like to set the intake valve at four thousandths, I think, and the ex exhaust at five thousandths. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a set of filler gauges and we'll go ahead and get to adjusting the valves. Before we do the valve adjustment, let's go ahead and get a beer. And this one is very tight, so we're gonna actually have to loosen it a little with maybe some pliers. And I'm very. I'm just tighten it down. I mean, the filler gauge itself is gonna hold it in play. This is a very awkward engine to work on. Five thousandths. Go to the six thousandths, and hopefully, it'll be very tight. Let's go ahead and try to do another compression test. Okay, so valve cover's back on. 110, 115 PSI. That's enough to start it. My bet is she is going to either fire up, so it may start, or it may not. Uh, there's a lot of other aspects. So at least we have, we have spark, we have compression now, Biggest thing is uh, fuel supply and quality. So nice and tight. Let's go ahead and throw the ignition coil back on, which is hiding up here. Uh, let's see if it fires up. Would you look at that? Look at what compression, fuel, and spark will do. So yeah, looks like uh, this scooter's problem was A, a dead battery, oh. and uh, exhaust valve had gotten hung up. Damn man, that wasn't even a one beer project. Hell yeah.